Stapleford's High Street has seen a lot of its shops sit empty in recent months, whether that's due to owners choosing to sell up or the business moving elsewhere. And sadly now its post office faces the risk of being lost too. We used to have lots of banks in Stapleford, but unfortunately they've all closed down now. So the post office is the last place where people can put money in, take money out, and even where the businesses can do banking. But if that goes, you know, it's going to have another effect on the high street. A lot of Stapleford's residents rely on the local high street to do their shopping. But local business owners fear that the loss of the post office could have a huge effect on them too. There's been a lot of businesses affected over the last year or so, I would say. Everybody needs a post office. Everybody needs a bank. We've lost the bank, so that's affecting the town. To lose a post office as well, obviously they're going to go elsewhere. Basically, there's nothing to come here for, is there? And do you worry that that could be a problem for your business going forward? Yeah, definitely. Very worried that this could be a big problem for our business in the future. For locals, the thought of losing their beloved post office is hard to accept. Well, I'd like to know where I'm going to get my pension from because I can't walk without a walker. So, and I, so I'm not, I can't get on and off buses very well, so I'm just, I'm just not going to be able to get my pension. Because I only tend to use Stapleford because um, I can't get out of cars anymore. I can't get on buses with this. I mean, people will take me, but you shouldn't have to rely on other people. You like to do it yourself. So do you think from this post office going, it'll affect your independence? It could do. I mean, I, I'd like to think not, but it could do. It certainly could do. Why should the post office close when there's plenty of room? We've got nothing. We've got charity shop, charity shop, charity shop, charity shop. We've got no green grocers. We've got no shoe shop. We've got no clothes shop. No bags. No bank at all, so we've got to go to Long Eaton, uh, Beeston and um, Ilkeston. They're the nearest. For eight to seven year old people to go there is disgusting. I'm sorry, but it is, it's gone right down. There's nothing. Stapleford is a ghost town. Both the council and residents are hoping that a buyer will soon be found to ensure that the post office door doesn't shut for good. Saskia Hicking for Not TV.